surrounded by rolling hills in the heart of the Napa Valley, sits Far Niente, an historic winery with a very modern technology. This is our floating solar array. As you can see, this isn't any old solar installation. Farniente placed its photovoltaics on top of a one-acre pond in the middle of their vineyard. The idea was to use land that wasn't needed to grow their wine grapes. Larry McGuire is a co-owner of the winery. The vineyard land is so valuable that the last thing you would want to do here in the greatest Cabernet growing region in North America is to pull out those vines to generate solar power. And although building it made business sense, the big challenge was figuring out how they generate electricity on top of water. Greg Allen is a winemaker at Farniente and also managed the solar project. We were very concerned about not having a ground fault um, from this system. It turns out that people have been using electricity in close proximity to water for a long time. We simply use marine quality conductors to safely carry the electricity from the point of generation on the water to the inverter on land. Here's the concept. The photovoltaic panels sit on pontoons that then float on the water. These are the pontoons that support the panels. So uh, floating on the pond are 130 pontoon units and eight panels on top of the pontoon. Underwater are the cables that run to the inverter box. This big box is the heart and soul of the solar system. Right now we're producing 96 kilowatts of power, which is probably a little bit more than what the winery is demanding at this instant. And so we're putting energy back on the grid as we speak. Alan adds another challenge was building an underground transmission line from the pond back to the winery. There's a mile that separates us from the point of generation to our point of usage. So we had to put in our own mini transmission system. We step up the voltage of the um, inverter to 5,000 volts and we transmit it a mile back to the winery where we step it back down and pipe it into our electrical distribution system. Since flipping the switch, the winery's solar system is supplying 100% of its energy needs. McGuire says the system, which costs approximately $4 million to build, will pay for itself in about 12 years, after rebates from the state of California. When we get about 12 years out and we have everything paid, then clearly we're going to be getting all this electricity for free, and, and we fully expect that these panels are going to last 25 years or longer. So the return ultimately is going to be fantastic. Solar panels floating on water business innovation at its best. For Smart Planet, I'm Sumi Das.